I'm gonna show you how to have a dealership do what you want rather than what they want. If you don't know who I am, my name's Tommy. I've been in the car industry for most of my adult life. I've done sales, I've done finance, I was in management. I did everything in between now. I negotiate car deals for a living, but enough about me, let's control a dealership. Now I've done a few videos like this, but I really wanna focus on internet leads because internet leads are one of the hardest things for people. It's one of the things that people struggle with. They say they can't get answers, can't get people over the phone. I'm gonna show you exactly how I get dealerships to respond to me almost every time. I have over an 80% response rate with most of my dealerships and almost every single one of the ones that respond, give me numbers exactly how I want. One of the biggest mistakes on making sure to get a dealership responding to you is actually reaching out to them in the right avenue. If you want to know on a dealership's internet lead system, the number one most important lead, the most successful lead for them is one that is from their website. And the reason being is when you're on the dealership website and you're clicking a car, that means you're only looking at that dealership, which means you probably a reason why you went to their website versus going to anywhere else. So you're more likely to respond. Just like it's hard for them to get us to respond, they get they get difficulty getting responses back too. So when you're on the website, they have a high chance of getting a response. Compare that to cars.com or car guru, where you have 40, 50 cars you're looking at and you can just click a contact dealer, contact dealer, contact dealer. These are low priority leads for them because they very rarely get responses. So when you're contacting the dealership, the lead type is important contact the dealership via the dealership's website. Even if you find the car on car gurus, just go to the car dealership website and actually click the lead and you're gonna get a better success rate. If you can write it in the lead or whatever you need to, you need to let this dealership you know, know you're buying today or tomorrow. I don't care if you're buying two weeks from now, you're letting them know I am buying today or tomorrow. That's gonna put urgency on the lead. You're gonna be ahead of all the other leads. There's plenty of people with put internet leads in and dealerships have to shift through them. But I promise you, you do these things, you're gonna get response. If you're still struggling to get a response, Honestly, I just call the dealership sometimes and say, hey, I put an internet lead in. I don't really can have time talking on the phone. I'm just looking for somebody to text me. So if the person who got my lead can't do it, can somebody just text me on this car? And then I normally hang up, keep it pretty simple, pretty brief. I don't like to do a lot on the phone, but you could do more on the phone if you're willing to deal with that, but it just takes longer, it's less efficient. And for me, when I'm negotiating with 20 plus dealerships with five, 10 deals a day, I can't do all of that. So I always just do mine via text. You can certainly call each one if you want. I just think texting is more efficient and it gives you a time to pause and think. This one is overlooked, but you actually want to try to be as nice as possible to these dealerships. I know that everybody thinks dealerships are the enemy, but realistically, all they're trying to do is maximize profit. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that. So try to be as nice as possible. If people are, you know, Karens or assholes or whatever you want to call it, and in the end, they're being rude to their client or rude to the people on the other side, probably just not going to give you as much attention. Because even if they sell you a car, they want a good customer experience score. And if they don't, you're, they know you're not going to give that, then they don't have much of a reason to be urgent and try to sell you a car. So be nice. I promise you kindness goes a long way. And the final point is make sure you have other offers. Don't just say, hey, I'm willing to buy the car for $500 less or $1,000 less. Sometimes that's a last ditch effort to get a better deal. But realistically, you want to make sure you have offers. Offers are sound. Offers are real. Offers are something that they can take to their manager and say, hey, do we want to compete with this or do we not? If you just say, hey, I want a thousand dollars off the car the dealership's just gonna say yes or no but if i have your competition down the road and they're willing to do it at this price now it's this guy's gonna buy a car here or he's gonna buy a car here i want them to buy a car here so i'm gonna match or beat that price that's how i get dealerships to control I can make a part two on this. I'm trying to make my videos a little bit shorter. So if you guys like this content, I want you to like, follow, subscribe for more. Thanks and have a great day.